Hey, okay, so we're going to create a simple uh, map selection feature. Um, so we're going to do a few things, and bear with me as I go through this process. I'm going to create a new UI. And as you know, currently, um, the way it's set up, it's basically when you finish a level, it goes to the next level. And this is usually set up here, you add your levels, blah, blah, blah. So what we're going to do instead, we're still going to use this feature but instead we're going to have one level and we're always going to open this level upon completing a stage and this is going to be called we'll call it map select this is going to be whenever we finished uh, finish a level it's going to go to this level um, so I mean maybe you want to go to the menu maybe you want to go to map select I don't know but um, by default it's gonna go back to map select so let's create our map select level map select make sure the spelling is proper we're also gonna create level uh, 2 this one's called default we'll say it's level 1 um, and for testing purposes we're gonna put this to 1 and this to 1 so after one move it's going to be over. So now we're going to go in level 2 and add our um, M3 main game. We're going to put it at 0, 0 just cause. And down here we're going to do the same thing. Map select and 1, 1. And actually there's one thing that we need to add to the M3 main game actor and this is the current level well we're gonna call it current level so this is gonna uh, keep track of which level we currently are in right now so we're gonna make this a name type and we'll call it current level we're gonna expose it save now there's some more uh, things that we're going to add to the M3 main game actor, but we'll do this afterwards. So right now, uh, current level is level 2. Again, the spelling has to be proper. We'll go back to default and current level default. Okay, now before we, we create our UI for the uh, map select level, we're going to go in the blueprint m3 save game and we're going to add two new variables of name type so name and we're going to say um, level list and it's going to be an array it's going to be an array thank you we're going to duplicate duplicate and call this one unlock levels with an s um, okay, so by default, we're going to have level 1 unlocked, which is called default. And on our level list, currently we have 2. So if you have 99, you're going to have to add 99 levels. So this could possibly be a tedious process, but you got to do it. Um, default and level 2. So right now I'm still in uh, version 4.76, by the way. I've not upgraded to 4.8 because it's kind of unstable right now for uh, this project. Um, but eventually it will get upgraded. Uh, but for the time being, I recommend sticking with 4.7. Uh, so level 2, level list, unlocked, okay. This is good. Um, I guess we can go ahead and create our UI now. So, I should have done this uh, to begin with, make a folder called UI and have the score end and end game instead of the UI, but whatever, it doesn't really matter. You can create it wherever you want, um, user interface, widget, we'll say map select, or yeah, call it map select. Okay, so now we have to create some buns, 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 buns. I'll put it at the center, anchor in the middle, um, text, I'll say 1, 
and we're going to rename this button level 1. Again, this could be pretty tedious if you have a huge level progression and you have a bunch of levels. If you have like, I think Candy Crush is like 500, uh, you would probably have this in multiple levels. Um, but anyway, so this is just a simple example to get you started. So we're going to copy, paste, and this is going to be bun level 2. Level 2, the text is going to be 2. Both of them are going to have an on clicked. And this one also. On click, on click. So basically, this is going to be the level that starts. And actually, we have to go in project settings, map and modes, and map select will be a default now. Now, this does not necessarily have to be your default. You could go through a uh, main menu to begin with, and from your main menu, then you go to your default map. Um, but for this example, we'll do it this way. Um, we're going to need a variable to reference our M3 save game. We're going to call it M3 oops, save game ref. Okay. And then we're going to need both of those. Um, does save game exist? And uh, just to get the proper spelling, I don't remember exactly how I named it. Uh, wait, it was inside of the save game, my bad. Uh, blueprint, M3 save game, M3 save slot, and it's called M3 save. Okay. So we're going to use that. Does this exist branch if it does we're gonna load um, load game from slot this one and we're gonna set oh actually this is not gonna work uh, we have to cast and then set okay so this is if it exists if it does not exist, we're going to create um, game slot, save game object, M3 save game. And we're going to do the same thing. Oops. Okay, so now we either load or create, uh, depending. Okay, so now to open our levels, uh, the first level we know that it's always always going to be unlocked, so we're just going to have a straight open level called default. Now for the next next one, we want to check if it's unlocked. So we're going to get a level list, and we're going to get unlocked levels. Now. Get, get, and one, one, one being two because it starts at zero one. So zero one, one is two. Um, so basically, we're gonna check: does these two match? If they do, then we're gonna open the level. If they don't, it's because this one doesn't exist yet. Because over here, unlock levels. We see we only have one, so the element one doesn't exist yet so if it doesn't exist this is going to be false in which case we're not going to do anything but if it is unlocked we are able to open level and this is going to be basically uh, this one you can do it this way or you can just simply do this um, Okay, so this logic should be good. One more thing we want to do in here is um, we want this widget to be present in the um, in the map selection, right? But once we actually start a level, we want this to get removed from uh, uh, our screen, so remove from pa from parent. So the way to do this, we're gonna check get all actors of class M3 main game we're gonna get the length of the array 
if this is greater than zero, which means we are in a level because we have a main game, a uh, M3 main game present branch. So if this is true, remove from parent because we don't want you. And that should be it for the logic in this guy. Now, what we need to do inside of our um, our level right now, we're inside of the the uh, the map select, right? We're gonna go in the menu, open level, and we're gonna create a widget. Menu or map select from get player controller on a player add to viewport. Okay. So now if we press play, we should have our widget. There we go. And they're not lined up. So if I press 2, nothing happens. If I press 1, I go to the first level. Um, okay, so now back inside of our uh, M3 main game, we have to add a little bit of logic to make sure that we unlock the new level upon completion. So we want to keep uh, the save game, we want to save the game, and then we want to open level, which is our map select. So we want to keep this. But in between, we want to tell... Um, Oops, we want to tell our save game uh, the new unlocked level. So to do this, we're going to get our current level. We're going to get from our M3 save game instance, which really should be called reference. Um, we're going to get uh, levels, get level list, and we're also going to get our unlocked level. Um, this one is going to add unique. You don't necessarily need to add unique. You can probably just add since each level is named differently. So um, add unique, plug it, plug it, save, 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 save. Okay, now this, what we're going to do, we're going to get from the level list, we're going to find current level. So this is going to give us the index of our current level. Now what we want is to get the next level. So to do this, we're simply going to add a plus one. And this is going to find the next level in the list. And then we're going to unlock it by adding it to the unlocked levels. All right. And once it's added to the unlocked level, then it gets saved. And from there on, as long as the save slot exists, this level is unlocked. So depending on how you're going to do it, this is probably going to be um, an indefi indefinite thing. So the level is going to be unlocked forever for the player. Um, OK, so now back to our map select. Actually, we're already in. I so now we click level 1, cool, so we play, finish our level, excellent, goes back to the map select. So now this should be unlocked, there we go, we have our unlocked level. Goes back and then you can go back to level 1 if you want. So there you go for a simple uh, map selection, hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, let me know if you need anything else. Alright, take care.